This is KC with Laguna Rio Outdoors, and today I'm going to be doing a gear review for the TFO NXT Black Label Combo. It retails right around $200 or a little less. Um, I got it in the five weight and have fished all over Texas, Colorado, and Montana with it. Uh, I've even fished it on the Texas coast. Um, and it held up really well with everything I've thrown at it from tiny little creek perch to giant trout to, you know, Texas bass. It's done pretty well. Um, I've never, I don't really have a single complaint with it, to be honest. I've been using it for over a year and a half now, and it's my go-to rod. I don't really, there's nothing in particular that's holding me back that I feel like I've outgrown this rod or my abilities have outgrown this rod. It's just an all-around really, really good rod for whatever you want to go after. And if you want to use this as a beginner rod, I think it's a great choice. Uh, it's priced really, really good for what you're getting. And I don't think that uh, you're going to really feel the need to upgrade uh, because, you know, it's holding you back or it's not a good enough rod. Uh, it's been really, really good for me. The line that comes on it, I don't know what it is um or what it was uh but it was pretty good i used it like i said all over texas colorado and parts of montana before i replaced it um and it held up really well it casts really really good um everything about it seems to be really really durable the reel itself held up just fine in the salt water obviously i rinsed it off and everything i don't think it's meant for that and i probably wouldn't recommend it but i don't have a speck of rust on that reel or anywhere on this rod which is pretty surprising because uh, i don't take the best care of my gear unfortunately um as far as durability i don't really break this thing down and put it in its case unless i'm going somewhere crazy so most of the time it's just getting tossed in the, the car or the truck and getting beat up pretty bad and it is taking it uh, without a problem. So yeah, for, for my review, I'd say this is a thumbs up and I recommend it to anyone who wants to get into fly fishing, um, especially if maybe you've already gotten into fly fishing and you're looking for a little bit better rod than your basic $60 entry rod. Uh, this one will definitely hold you over for a long long time and i think with that we're going to wrap it up so y'all take care see ya